He was a Jewish man who faced many trials under the rule of a wicked ruler named Ceausescu in Romania. But even before then, he walked the narrow winding path through humiliation, mental and physical torture. He wore the Jewish star that cast its sentence of death, but he survived the scourge of the Nazi empire. He faced threats, danger, and unthinkable horror, and he survived. He was a teacher surrounded by students, class full of students, young men and women, their lives in front of them, full of hope and promise. Shots rang out, screams, terror, he opened the window and urged them to hurry. They looked at their teacher as he blocked the door. He urged them, but he didn't leave the room. He stayed there, a man willing and able. Greater love hath no man than this, no greater love. Hurry, he shouted. He had no fear of death, and so he stayed until the very last. He died, and at the very end of his life, reach the heights of glory, for he died so others could live. In this death unexpected, we witnessed unexpected grace. Therefore, it is fitting that we also remember another Jewish man who faced many trials. Under the rule of a wicked ruler named Pontius Pilate, he walked the narrow winding path the way of sorrows through humiliation. He was hunted down even as a child, but he survived the scourge of the Roman Empire. He faced threats, danger, and unthinkable horror. He too was a teacher, surrounded by students. And then came the day, with the weight of man's sin upon him, the hammer fell, screams, terror. Still, he opened the grand door of escape. They looked on the face of the Savior as he hung on the cross. He forgave, he suffered, but he didn't leave the cross, though the escape was well within his reach. He stayed, a man willing and able. Greater love hath no man than no this. No greater love, no greater love. He had no fear of death, and so he stayed until the very last. He died. At the very end, his life reached the heights of glory, for he died so others could live. And now he bids us come. <laughs>